Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here. Welcome back to more. Let's play the Chronicles of Narnia, the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, the longest title ever. We are moving on to Beaver Dam. It's a chapter that I remember quite well for being difficult. So let's see if it still is. I, I still think some parts of this game are difficult despite me now being an adult. Oh, blind, it looks like the old girl's got the kettle on. Nice cup of rosy leaf. It's lovely. No, it's merely a trifle, you know. Still plenty to do, I ain't quite finished it yet. Bit of luck for business when it is, though. Uh-oh. The ogre! Ogre power extreme. There's a sword behind him that I want to get to here. Ah! Grab it! Here we go. Do you oh god. Ah Calm down, mister. <laughs> Alright, so I wanna see if I can do like the special attack here. Go Become a couple. Go T together. It's really difficult to see here as well. Edmund I'm trying. Let me love you, Edmund. Come on, grab him! I'm gonna die now because I pressed the wrong button. Is this even doing anything? Yeah. Welcome to Beaver Dam. This is gonna be so much fun. Uh, just... Wait, where did the others go? Alright, so... I'm gonna have to be running around in circles, it seems. And am I even doing damage to you? Oh god. Oh! Lucy! Take over! <laughs> Alright. It's sword time. Okay, that's how we're supposed to do damage. Alright, I get it. Um, you got tired of playing with the beaver. Careful, Lucy. Okay, so now he has our healer. That's great. Damn it, he CC'd our healer. Guys, DPS him down. Damn it. This is not an MMO. Go. Edmund time. Peter time. Oh, God. Now I'm gonna punch you too. Everybody punched a giant. Uh, am I doing something? Did I do it correctly? Oh yes, checkpoint. Jolly good. Lucy, heal us. Nice. Peter needed that. Alright, keep bashing him. This is such a difficult boss level because the boss just has so much health. In most kids games the boss is like, well he has a bit more health, but here it's like... Oh my god, so much. Get out of here. I still gotta try to ride wolves. I know I promised to do that, but I... No, archers. Oh yeah, I gotta take out the archers before I can actually get there. Which sucks. Alright. Alright, got him. Now we can do our little attack. I can't remember any of the combos. Phew. Uh, I really can't, I should probably look that up. It's okay. Go, giant power! What, another one? But I just... They spawn so quickly. Yeah, we got this. There's so many of them. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Alright. We're halfway here. Come on, we can do it. Edmund, can you actually do something? Edmund's just walking around there. There we go. Come on, help me. I guess I should probably team up with him. Uh, I can't seem to team up. Okay. There's so much going on. Right, that's one down. Uh. Alright, Peter time. Peter's about to die. Can you stop poking her? Alright, go, go. I can't even do my combos because I keep getting stun locked by this guy. Alright, Lucy. 
Go, go. Ah. Alright, so we need to avoid Peter for a bit. Which is hard. Alright, Peter, this way. Heal up. Oh, God. <laughs> it lasts like half my health in a few hits. This game is not meant for kids. I'm pretty sure. Oh, God. I, I, need, I need more health. Can't do this with this amount. Dead. He steals our healer. How am I supposed to combat that? There's no more health left on the level either. Peter is going to die. And I will be forced to play with him soon. Here we go. Alright, Susan, you better protect me. There we go, finally. That's probably just gonna be like some sort of bonus uh, thingy. Bonus shields! That's not what I signed up for. Come on. Die! Yes, victory! God damn it. And he kind of suddenly realized that Edmund has been in contact with the witch. I think that was a bit fast, but a fair rating. Didn't expect anything else. Just wanted to survive that goddamn chapter. <laughs> ah. Alrighty-o, we can move on. The next chapter is also pretty stressful. It's another beaver chapter. And it is... Through the tunnel! Oh, this mission brings back so many good memories. <laughs> Alright, hopefully we can do it a bit smoother then than we have done before, and after this we'll probably check if we have any new clips or secret levels and the like. Here goes Edmund. He has a crush on the witch. She's too old for him. He doesn't care. Do -do -do. That's a nice throne room. Like it? Uh, y y yes, y Your Majesty. I thought you might. Tell me, Edmund. Are your sisters dead? No. And your brother? Is he... unintelligent? Well, I think so. For Mum says... Then how dare you come alone? I, I did bring them halfway. They're at the little house at the dam with the beavers. Well, I suppose you're not a total loss then, are you?
Margrim? You know what to do. That yeah, witch creeps me out, dudes. They're after us. Take them. And here comes the wolves. Dun, 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 dun. Mrs. Beaver, can you hold it shut? Right. Children, I can chew through the exit. I'll be as quick as I can. So basically, we need to protect Mr. Beaver while uh, protecting against attacks from all entrances. Because he will be kidnapped and we need to chase down the culprits. God damn. I need a sword. Stop! Drop that beaver! I mean be beaver. Alright, so he's gonna go up there and have some fun. And now we gotta run back here! And... Yeah, it's just a cutscene that says that he's begun the work. So if you have co-op, this is... Well, I guess you can't really go too far from each other, so... Ah, uh, wolves! Susan's the only one with a decent weapon now. Alright. Gotta call the wolf threat, then we can move along. Is there a weapon in these barrels? And Mr. Beaver's gonna get kidnapped. Because of course he is. Boom. We got a stick. Alright, let's go. Let's go, little Lucy. Can I ride these people yet? I don't think so, I think I can only ride wolves. We actually learn to ride them, which is pretty cool. Boom, die. Yeah. What now? What, who are the, what? It's, 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 it's so chaotic. <laughs> Get over here. You're not getting him, I got a sword now. Ability unlocked. And here comes those stupid little mini trolls. Trying to push over the boulder to make a bridge. Uh, let me check the inventory here. More health, yes. Oh. Uh. Rain of fire. Susan and Lucy must team up. All right, that's pretty cool. Ghoul tame, we can now ride these ghouls. All right, let me show you how cool that is. Uh, uh, wait, a new ability unlocked? I think I already checked it out. It just said late. Uh. All right, so Susan, we need to snipe these people. Then we should probably go back and check on Mr. Beaver. This is really chaotic for a child to do. Here comes the wolves, we gotta go back to um, Selena Gomez, I mean Mrs. Beaver. Although they're not together anymore. Although I shouldn't even know that. Let's go! Boom! Don't worry, god, Beaver has gotten like 10% of the way. So slow. It's gonna punch you in the face. Alright, Susan, are you here yet? She's not here, I can't switch to her. Susan! She- where is Susan? I need her. She's the only one who can snipe- there you are, god damn. And now they're pushing the rock again. And Bieber's probably gonna get kidnapped. Alright. Alright, let's ride a ghoul. Ghoul team, let's go! <laughs> Ride to Narnia. Whoa, that quote actually works now. Oh yeah, we're not gonna let him be taken. This way. Oh, you're in trouble now, ghoul. Drop him. 
drop that beaver. I know you're pushing it. Don't worry about it. All right, now beaver's gonna go back. Let's go up here now. Of course. Yes. Of course, we gotta get the wolves as well. All right, Susan, are you here? Good. You know what to do. We gotta try some more of the team up abilities, but first, this is way too hectic to be experimenting. Take care of them, Peter. Go. Alright, let's go. Follow me, noobs. The wolves are getting through. Okay, Beaver's actually been speeding up, though. Which is good. So in this chapter, it's all about not getting overwhelmed with, like, the three objectives that goes on at once. And kill all the wolves, of course. It's another thing. Get out of here. Gonna spread some love to everybody, then we're gonna go over and watch Beaver, I guess. Kill some of these guys. Boom. Oh, they're pushing the rock. Susan time. Susan and her bow is really doing work, though. Uh, let's take care of Beaver first. Hey, stop there. Drop him. I said drop him. Okay, that took a lot of arrows. Get out of my way. <laughs> I know, Susan just punching them down. Not let them pass. Look at, yeah, look at all the minions below us. That's pretty scary. Yeah, protect me. Thank you, Lucy. You got more balls than Peter does. I appreciate that. Can you stop? Stop, seriously. God damn it. Alright, Peter, help me. Uh, uh, Lucy. There we go. Go away. Uh, Alright. Go. Snipe. Alright. Well, let's move out again. Actually, I want to play a Susan just in case she gets lost on the way. God damn it, Susan. He's soon through, though. Oh, move! This close. This close. If I look to the side, it's because I have all my recording things over there, so... Alright. Now let's go save that beaver. Oh, why would you bring him over here? Whatever. Get back here! Drop that! Oh. Bam. Die! God damn it, can you just stop? Alright. Get to work, Bieber. Of course, why wouldn't you be pushing that? Oh, there's some something cool here. What's this? Oh. We never found out. But we escaped, and that's the important part. One out of thirteen. That's probably a fair rating. I do not understand the rating system in this game, I have to be honest with you. Ghoulbane. Alright, 0x. I mean, circle x. Damn it. Alright. We shall save that progress, and uh, now we're gonna move on and... We can test out some new abilities, have some more time to look around for uh, secrets and... Stuff like that. It's gonna be a bit less hectic now. Which is always good. Frozen Lake. Let me just check the drawer here. What do we have? Bonus level. Survive for three minutes to complete. 
But have I not gone through these? Why are they not checked off? Weird, I'll try and do that later, I guess. D watch through it again? I don't know. I wanted to say that it's complete. Or maybe I watched them after... Maybe I saved and then watched and then closed the game. Alright. Survive for three minutes. That's gonna be interesting. It's gonna push my skills to the limit and I'm already dying. Nice. Go together! And I died. That took me 20 seconds. This is not an easy game! This is not a children's game. Come on, this is... Oh, this is this game is pretty relentless. Can you team up? And it's so hard to team up as well. It's really finicky. Go. Yeah. Alright, do I have any special abilities here? I don't think so. I got Ghoulbane and stuff though. Which I guess I should be using. Ooh. They got snipers and stuff, but... Uh. <laughs> How am I gonna survive this? Susan, help! Let's team up! Hearts all over the place! Alright. So whenever we get in trouble, we just team up. We survive for one minute, let's keep going. As long as we keep on the move, we don't have to take out the dwarven archers, I think. It's more important that we remove all the melee threats, because they are the ones that are pressing. But these are sort of the cool things that we can unlock by gathering bonus stuff, so that's always nice. I haven't gotten that many, but the few bonus levels that we can manage to acquire are probably gonna be cool. Boom, boom. Ooh, nice. Susan! I can't do anything with her, she's lagged out. Susan, what are you doing? God. She's lost her mind. She's given up on life. She's just walking into the wall. Can I? T I can't team up. All right. Looks like it's up to Edmund now. Only he and he alone can deal with the threats of Narnia. You think Narnia would be a peaceful place, right? Nope. It's a battlefield. Go! Damn it. All right. I'm gonna try and break her free. No, she's... Oh. oh god, that was so close. No! You don't understand. Go! There we go. And now we are back in action. Boom. Nice. They give me so many hearts at once. They should have given me like a few every now and then. It looks like we're actually gonna win this. It's fun though with these little bonus levels. I like it. So get out of here, ghouls, wolves. Humans shall rule this day and we shall conquer yet another area of the world. Or other worlds for that matter when we get tired of conquering this world. Power to the people! Good. Power! Level complete. 25 coins found. Yeah, the rating isn't important here. So now we will save. That was fun. That was, that was really fun. So I guess we shall continue on to the Frozen Lake. I can't remember how long I made these episodes. If they were 30 minutes or 50 minutes. But to be honest, I feel like playing more. So that's what we're gonna do regardless of that. Let's do Frozen Lake. And if I remember correctly, it's also going to be a bit hectic. Oh god. This game is just hectic in general. It, it is a stressful game, but... It's okay. It's okay. We managed to survive. It feels so good to be able to play childhood games, you have no idea. Now, Aslan's camp is near the stone table just across the frozen river. It's so far. It's the world, dear. Did you expect it to be small? Smaller. 
I think she's referring to, uh, you know who. <laughs> uh, your dignity. Okay. Yo, everybody, we're back once again. My name is Peter. I got all my friends, and the enemies are already coming. And now I'm already flowing, and we're crossing the rocks. Can I destroy these at all? I don't know. Stupid wolves. They don't want to give you a break in this game anymore. Attack! Actually, I want to check out something. Yeah, here we go. So that's what those rocks are. Cool. Alright. Since we've been rushing so much, let's take it slow with this level and see how many secrets we can get. Oh, I hear something. Protect me while I play my flute. It's important stuff, guys. Protect me. I don't... Oh, it made him fall asleep. Okay. So I guess different rings does different things. So the blue ring is rings that I shouldn't bother doing because the sleep isn't that powerful. Alright. Break through. Uh, can you go through here? Ah, yes you can. Alright. There's not a lot of statues and shields on this level, so I, f I feel like we can do this. Alright, Lucy, do you want to ride a wolf? Ah, uh, you killed it. <gasps> wolf tame! Da -da 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 -da. It's actually really, really powerful. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. So these logs kind of save the progress of you hitting them to a certain degree. Makes it easier to break through if something happens. Like archers appearing. Because they want to make everything... They really want to make you like take advantage of everybody's abilities in the game. I'm glad they actually made the game a challenge though, I really am. Not just taking the easy way out and just making it some crappy game. Alright. Alright. I say that word way too much, don't I? Oh no. Oh, uh, here comes more trees. Oh, they are so disgusting. Alright. Oh god, is that a freaking gargoyle flying there? What the hell? Yeah, it's got probably gonna destroy like the entire oh god. Oh it doesn't destroy the ice, that's good. Still gonna cause me some trouble. Okay, so we need to be Susan here. Got a bonus shield. <laughs> what is this? This is just crazy. Pure crazy. Don't drop that rock on me. Don't, don't drop that rock on me. Let's crush this. Boom. Oh. Alright. We're doing good on the collecting so far. I think we got most of the stuff that we can get. Alright. Screw you guys. I have tamed you. I need to destroy these ice blocks. That means I gotta team up with uh, Lucy. Or is it these two? Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Gotta start hitting it. Go. Yeah. Don't care about them. And breakage. Checkpoint. Nice. <sighs> of course. Three ogres. I think a few of them die, though. Yeah. Are they gonna be standing and chucking boulders at us? Yeah, because, I mean, why not? This game hates people. Alright. Ah. 
You expect me to be able to play with that? I'm gonna die. Perfect. Alright. That's them gone. Right, we gotta do it step by step. Everybody fall asleep so I can explore the level. Is there anything else here? <laughs> Lucy suicide mission. We're gonna start smashing this up. Of course they gotta put it out put it on fire. I can't remember how you <gasps> Are you f kidding me? That did things so freaking well. Alright. Sorry about cursing, i probably just bleep it out with something cute. Uh, that's another thing, if they're gonna censor stuff, like on TV and stuff, why do they decide to use a sound that's so freaking annoying, like a the, the, the beeping sound? It just hurts your ears and it's worse than the actual curse word. Just use something funny, like a dog bark or, you know, a sheep Meow, or it's, uh, that sheep's don't meow, as far as I know. Alright, we're, we're back to the same spot, no worries. Now oh, don't fall in the water. It's gonna be put on fire. I'm gonna have to put it out. There's actually no enemies here. It's nice. So we blocked the path for good. Oh, never mind that. I just want to get the uh, the coins. Don't want to fall in though. Boom. That's just. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Is that an ogre? Screw my life. Screw my life. Screw my life. <laughs> this is just comical. Go, go. I don't think I can defeat this, uh, John. Or maybe I can. I should probably try, shouldn't I? Because he might give me a shield or something. Alright, I'll try. He doesn't seem killable. I can just kind of push him. So it makes me uncertain. Yeah. I can't really If he was a proper enemy, I should probably be able to target him better. Then we're going to switch out. He left, then we're going to switch back. I didn't didn't buy that. Okay, Peter, quickly. Don't fall in. You, 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 you. This game is so f shitty. It's not shitty. But it is rage inducing. <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> that little that little pool of water. A tiny pool of water. I got a new ability. What could that ability be? Probably something fun. Lion's Claw. Ogre Bane. Ogres to be defeated with one hit. Are you serious? Okay, <laughs> circle square X. Let me try that. Uh, circle. I can't do that. Circle. It doesn't work. Circle square. Circle. Wow, the timing is really, really uh, finicky on that one. Yolo. Run, dun, 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 dun. But now I can actually kill ogres, nice. Less stuff to worry about. It's 
So, oh god, of course. Let's put it all on. I just want to set the world. Wait, actually the song is that he doesn't want to set the world. Oh. Hey, the roger. It's gonna smash a little bit more. All right, now we're gonna move out of the way here. All right, ogre, time to defeat you. Oh wait, that's not an ogre. Ogres are the little ones, the 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 the, the, the chubby people. That's a ghoul, and the others are like the. Oh, I th he called this an ogre. Why can't I kill this then? I will try. Die, you beasts. Seems pretty invincible to me. I thought that was the... He caught... Oh God. That's pretty inconsistent. Where's the ogre at? He's coming. Right, now we're moving. And here comes... Uh, something. A wind. Yeah, what is under the ice? That's pretty scary. Alright, so watch out for the holes. That seems to be my number one cause of death. Oh, okay. Extra time. So apparently something is coming and we need to do something, I guess? Yeah, I think we need to fight, fight enemies until like some pieces of ice make a path for us. I remember correctly. Gotta be careful not to fall in with them. Let's gain some extra time. I wonder if we missed any statues so far. It looks like we've been doing pretty good. Thank you. Wait, okay, Lucy. Alright. Ooh, finding all the pieces. Yes, I did it. Whoa, they are super fast. <gasps> no! Okay, thank you. I, I just switched to Peter and he was in the water. Alright. You're doing good on the statue front. And let me steal some of you. Like, like let me ride you. Come on. So hard to see stuff here. There we go. Rock and roll. Noobs. Let's have a look over here and see. Nothing. Alright. I guess we're just fighting. It is a pretty cool level though. It's hectic. It has all the cool stuff. God. Ruthless, unforgiving game. This is like Dark Souls for kids. <laughs> or maybe I'm just bad at it. It could be too. Hey, Beaver, you want to help us out here? Alright, Lucy, you know what to do. God, now they just fall down like dominoes. Alright. Be careful here. I'm gonna take advantage of the- What? Are those- what, what the hell are those pig people? Oh my god! What is going on? Got it. Bonus shield. Alright. Get this. Oh, we got all the statues. Quest completed. That was a bit of a suicide mission there. It's okay. Ugh. Oh. Alright, we got some extra time. Is there nothing else here? I think this is the last section, so it would be kind of... Looks like I'm not getting it all. But close enough, you know? Boom. Alright. Boom. 
Lion Sleep. Probably can't do the other one. I don't have the power. Uh, this is quite hectic. Alright, Susan, take out these guys and let's see if I can get something cool. Uh oh. Maybe there's actually something hidden in one of these. Uh, I can't seem to find the final one. Something horrible is coming. I think it's like the wind or like with all the frost and stuff. It's it's bad. Should have wiped out most of them by now. Boom. Anybody else want to mess with me? Boom. Don't fall in. Alright, I think we did it. Missing only one shield. Lord of the Rings much? <laughs> One drop will cure any injury. Susan, blow on this, and wherever you are, help will come. Thanks. Peter, the time to use these may be near at hand. These are tools, not toys. Bear them well and wisely. Long live Aslan! And Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Thank you, So, we got some presents from Santa Claus, and apparently if Zeus never needs somebody to come, she can just blow on that. We got all the statues though, that's nice. And that's going to be a very good rating. How is th the, the through the tunnel level which I collected one shield on, how is that a very good and getting all of that is a good? This rating received a gift from Father Christmas. Lucy has a fire flower cordial, which is powerful healing properties. Yes, she has now OP healing. Susan has a gift bow, which never runs out of arrows and an ivory horn to summon help. Peter has a powerful gift sword. So basically we're going to be awesome. Fast reload. That's something I like. Phoenix heart. Hopefully with these things the game's going to get a bit easier. And damn. Where's the fire flower? Boggle tame. Boggles are the, uh, the, the, the piggies, the people, the, 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 the big ones. That's pretty badass. Oh, I love this game. This is so much fun. Alright, we're gonna save our progress here. See if we have anything new, anything bonusy, and... Then we continue onwards to victory and glory for Narnia. What's the next level? The Great River. Another hectic mission. <laughs> That'll be fun. Movie, The Making of Narnia. Alright, cool. Let's let's have a look. The renowned and beloved book by C.S. Lewis, The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, has evolved. 98, 99. 100. Ready or not, here I come. Edmund, Susan, Lucy, Peter, Aslan the Lion, the Wicked White Witch, the magical land of Narnia. These are characters and places that have loomed large in the imaginations of children around the world for more than half a century. They are the stars of one of the greatest series of books in children's literature, The Chronicles of Narnia. The Chronicles of Narnia are classic novels, and now The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe 
has been made into a blockbuster movie and video game, a new generation of children will be experiencing for themselves the magic of Narnia. On the first morning, the children decided to explore the big house. It was full of interesting things and unexpected places. One room had a suit of armor in it. Another, all hung with green, had a harp in the corner. And one room was quite empty, except for a big wardrobe with a looking glass in the door. Chronicles of Narnia have been phenomenally successful ever since the first publication of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe way back in 1950. Um, they progressively sold more and more copies right around the world in about 30 languages. I think they're up to somewhere close to 90 million copies worldwide. The Chronicles of Narnia are the work of an English author, C.S. Lewis. A tutor at Oxford University and a good friend of J.R.R. Tolkien, author of Lord of the Rings, Lewis gestated on the ideas that he would later incorporate into his masterwork for many years. But it was not until 1950, when he was 52, that the first book in the series was published. Well, funnily enough, my stepfather C.S. Lewis had the nickname of Jack uh, from when he was a very small child. And when Jack was about 16 years old, one day there popped into his head the image of a fawn in a snowy wood with a whole bunch of parcels and an umbrella. And um, it made some kind of impression on him, but he never did anything with it until many, many years later when he was about 50. And he decided he would try to make a story out of that image and began to work on it. And at the time, he was having nightmares about lions, one particular huge lion in, in particular. So he then found that the lion leapt into the story and dragged the rest of the story with him. That was really the origin of the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. Narnia came into my life, obviously, as a child. It was one of the first books that I really got into. And as a teacher, it's one of the classics that one feels obliged to deliver to children. The film of The Lion, Witch and the Wardrobe has been a very, very long time in gestation. Uh, I suppose I've been dreaming about it, scheming it, talking about it for the better part of my adult life. And uh, my, my sons, my children, they remember me all of their lives, dreaming, scheming, and talking about making a movie of The Lion, Witch and the Wardrobe. But it's also, of course, noteworthy that Technology has not existed to make a movie of it doing the book justice until very recently. But it's not just the movie that will bring the world of Narnia to life this winter. A new multi-million dollar video game developed in conjunction with the movie for the first time allows children to create their own adventures in the world of Narnia. Moving from the movie, which is a well-known accepted medium nowadays, into the video game area, is a great, it's an uplifting experience in some ways because every child throughout the history of the book has longed to be able to go to Narnia. I don't really think that anybody uh, amongst the general public has any idea of the background of what goes into making a movie to start with. But if you take then the making of a game from the movie, it's almost, it's probably more complex in a sense, converting the movie into a game than converting the book into a movie. Los Angeles, 2005 home to the greatest computer show on earth, E3. Ensuring that the video game joined seamlessly with the movie was the job of Andrew Adamson, the director of Shrek and Shrek 2, and now the director of the first Chronicles of Narnia movie. There's a very specific look to the world of Narnia, which I think is an original world that people haven't seen before. And we really wanted to make sure, in partnership, that the game had that look as well. Before we even started shooting the film, we were having discussions about how to integrate the film aspects into the game and vice versa. There's a lot of things that have been very important to me in the movie as far as the, the design, the use of colour throughout the movie, and I want to make sure that all of those same aspects were incorporated in the game. Basically a very important part of the film is the world of Narnia. Cheshire, England, home of game developer Traveller's Tales. Here, the film was adapted into an interactive action adventure. I think this will mean a lot to the Nani fans. I think, you know, it's the second biggest selling book behind Harry Potter. When the opportunity came up to do Chronicles of Narnia, I was thrilled. I'd, I'd been a great fan of the book since I was, I was pretty young. I read it when I was seven or eight, and, uh, and the tales really captivated me.
it's my job basically to take the game through from uh, conception to, to final gold master. The biggest challenges we've got is obviously we go in uh, day and date with the film, uh, is making sure that the game that we produce uh, mimics the film that, 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 uh, that's going to get released. In the kind of first few, um, few days of filming, we, we had handy shots of locations and things like that, so which was fine for our level builders, we could kind of go out, build the sets that, that Disney were filming on. My name is Jonathan Shaller, I am a level artist and I create the scenery, um, various scenes from the movie. In the feature length movie, uh, many of the backgrounds are completely computer generated and some of them are detailed full size set pieces. To start the uh, level building process, we're first given these images uh, by Disney along with the detailed blueprints which are all surrounded by trees and growth etc. From tracing over the blueprints I can loft very simple shapes from these spines, go to a lofting of the surface and you will see it fill itself in with a very simple shape here. I can now go into this shape and I can manipulate it further. Over a series of hours this will come closer to uh, looking like one of the houses from the Allies enclave. So if I apply a rock texture, so now we look like we have a, a stone wall, eventually after a series of hours it looks a little more like this. Depending on the complexity and the size of the level, uh, the scenery can take anything from a couple of weeks to a couple of months. When we think that the scenery looks as accurate and as close to the movie, we're pleased with what we've got. The team at Traveller's Tales faced huge challenges in accurately adapting the movie into the game. Well, the animation in the game was something that's always one of the most important aspects of any game development because if the characters don't move naturally, it's the first thing the player notices. We receive uh, photographs of every maquette that's made of every creature, which is our first point of reference really. We can then give that to our model guys and they can start to, to build the creatures. I'm Anthony Whiteley and I'm lead animator on the Narnia project. Uh, well, basically, an animator rotates the joints in a skeleton to emulate the way a person or an animal would actually move, uh, which we do by drawing bones, which you can draw them anywhere. They can be in the character here, for instance. You can rotate them around here. to leave These bones, just like the bone in your arm, rotate around each other. Then once, once you've actually got that, basically you go through a process of uh, tweaking and moving these things around until you um, end up with something which looks like the animation you're after, of, say, in this case, a centaur patrolling the perimeter of Aslan's camp. Once the artists have built the levels, we obviously have to put them in the game. The more complicated process that we spend a lot of time on and, and uh, a lot of work in is putting the creatures into the game. So one of the first processes we go through is we have to lay out for the creatures pathways so that they know where to go. So, for example, I can start laying out a path to bring the creatures round into the level. This describes how the creature can move around the level. I'm going to add into the game a minor tool. So now he knows how to move through the level, he's in the level obviously, and he now knows how to interact with the player, how to attack when he should stay back. Throughout the game, short animated movie clips called cutscenes help tell the story. I'm uh, Bill Martin, the lead cutscene animator on Narnia. Well, to the game as a whole, the cutscenes, um, apart from explaining to the player where they are and what's coming up in the game, they um, expand the whole experience, I think. They, they give you a taste more of the film and uh, make, give you a richer experience when you're playing the game. Well, we start off with a level design document that outlines everything that's needed in each level. And within that, we're told what cutscenes are needed. Uh, from that, Disney supplies us with a storyboard which gives an outline of the general timing and the cuts and what characters are in there. So we uh, take the game level into the computer and place the characters and the cameras in there, cut it together so we've got a rough timing so we know it's working okay. In this cutscene, Edmund's being captured by the baddies and the centaurs are coming to, to rescue him. When the scene's been blocked out and uh, all the camera cuts are in, then we hand over to the sound guy who will put in a uh, placeholder track with voices. My name is David Whitaker and I'm the main audio guy at uh, Traveller's Tales. When I get given a scene, say a cutscene, I have to splice a little pre-recorded music to fit the length of the cutscene, then I uh, create sound effects for specific actions like footsteps or explosions. In this cutscene we need a sword swipe, um, so I will grab several of uh, my CD archives and I would audition them. I would place it on the timeline in relation to where the switch needs to be. 
So the guy's gonna swipe his sword. Huh? Who's there? Peter? Shh! I've come to get you out. Hurry! Huh? Oh, what have we here? My name is Mike Jacob, and I'm the executive producer for Buena Vista Games. The gameplay itself is, is really, I think, inspired in a lot of ways. And kind of the cornerstones that we really settled on were cooperation, collaboration, creatures, and of course, combat. One of the great design ideas was to be able to team the kids up, and you can actually link them together. So when their, when their power meter gets up to the top, you can actually run any of the two children up next to each other. Each of them connect up in different ways. And we leave it up to the player to choose how to link the kids up and when to link them up and how they want to use them. For instance, Peter might link up with Edmund. And they actually do this great spinning move that's kind of reminiscent of a giant whirlwind. And as they're flying and flying around, they'll be able to take on creatures in combat. They can blast their way through objects or obstacles that might be too hard for them to do individually. If you want to sort of beat them up and jam through the game and just sort of attack your way, it works for you. But if you also want to maybe be a little more stealthy, a little more creative, we give you all the player all those tools to be able to do that. The game really offers anybody of any skill set or even gaming style to be able to succeed and have a great time and make the game their best experience. For instance, Lucy, if she does a perfect attack against an enemy, she can jump up on the back of that enemy and then give the player the ability to control and sort of be all of these different creatures that we're creating throughout the world. It's just quite amazing, really staggering, the amount of work and animation that has to be done to pull all of this together. For 18 months, the team at Traveler's Tales have been working on bringing this game to life. And the numbers of, of man hours involved in this are just absolutely staggering. I don't think anybody has any idea. They sit down in front of a computer and they play the game, they go, wow. In our case, they go, oh, wow. Uh, but they don't know the millions of hours that are spent in the complex procedures of translating it from images on the screen doing their own thing to images on the screen that you can control. Now with the new video games and the computer games, the children can actually not only get into Narnia, but they can control what their protagonist, what their particular character does in Narnia. So in a sense, they invent their own adventure. For me personally, it's a great honor really to work on a game of such size. I mean, the general feeling within the group is it's going to be, the film's going to be huge. You know, and to, to be a part of, of making a game for something that is going to be that's so big is, is a great honour. Really. It's really exciting to be involved with, with the Chronicles of Narnia, to, to work with the director, to work uh, with the property, to, to meet Douglas and, and, and all the people involved with the, with the story, and to be part of, of that, that whole legend is, is, is a pinnacle, really, in, in my career in the games industry. Now, with the advent of these computer and video games that we're producing, taking off from the movie, people all over the world will, for the first time, without a wardrobe, be able to go to Narnia. That was one very, very long cutscene. I did not expect that. Well, I thank you for watching this one hour episode of Narnia. You can stick around the channel if you want to see more childhood games brought to life in HD. And I will see you later. So have a still good day, take care and stay awesome. But most important everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.